Hi guys, welcome back to ADSR FMA tutorials, continuing with our feature looking at the envelopes in FMA and how to kind of customize them and use them and sort of shape our own sounds with them. I'm going to show you how to make this bass sound that we have playing there. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to rebuild that sound and then at the end of the tutorial I'm going to look at these Tomba envelopes and Amplitude envelopes in the Easy Morph section and how we can use these to further kind of shape our sounds in FM8. So quite useful tools these. So let's start off, create a new sound in here and uh, just get a bit of a nice kind of Tomba together. So I'm going to root all these operators, I'm going to use all six operators, root them all through the filter. So. F going into Z at 100, Z going to the output 100. Push a cutoff up so we can hear the nice sort of top end in the sound as we're building this sound. So let's change operator F to a sawtooth and key sync it as well. And E, I'm going to go 0.25 on the ratio, so it's going to be sawtooth as well. Key synced, and I'm going to root E into F at 100. So. And I'm going to detune E slightly as well. The offset there, kind of minus 0.13. So D, operator D, keep the ratio at 1 and keep it as a sine wave, key synced. And D, let's turn it on. I'm going to root into E at about 8, 9, subtle amount. I'm also going to root it to the output or to the filter at about 50, 57. And I'm going to detune this as well, actually. Point four two minus point four two. So I'm not using the ratio to detune these operators. I'm using the offset, so you can get some quite cool characteristics with this offset as well. And uh, operator C, point five on the ratio, and offset. I'm going to go plus point five. Key sync this. And operator C is gonna let's feed it into operator D about 24 and to the output about 30. Operator B now, ratio of 2, and uh, it was gonna have a 1 plus 5 on the waveform, key syncs again, turn operator B on, root into C about 17, and to the output. about 40 and I'm going to root E into B here about 27 and operator A I'm going to go 2.5 on the ratio it's going to be a sine wave key synced uh, and this is going to bring a bit more sort of kind of upper harmonics really into the sound root to the so root into B at 29 into the output about 30 and sounds quite fat down there on C2 so let's go to this master section now and just transpose the sound down by one octave take that D tune well let's increase the voices to two make it monophonic it's going to be a bass sound and let's detune it about f maybe about 47 48 pan out some of those voices Getting quite a dirty sound now. Increase this digital right up. Getting a nice sort of brittle top end in the sound. It's quite an aggressive sort of metallic sound this. So now let's move to our envelopes. So as we discussed previously we can link all our envelopes together and for all the operators I want them all to have the same envelope. So I can hit this link button and just want to back off the attack. The attack's a bit sort of brittle there. It's a bit harsh. I'm going to back the attack off slightly. And just pull this release out as well so we get a nice kind of tr transition at the end of the sound. There's no clicks or pops. Now 
let's move to the filter section. So we're going to customize our own envelope in this filter section. It's going to give us that really interesting movement on the sound. So for starters, filter one, take the cutoff to just past quarter of the way up. So around about 23, 24. Push this resonance up to about 40. Let's keep it on the low pass filter. Keep the routing the same here and spread push up to 100 on filter 2. Resonance about 35. And now with this cutoff right down here. Let's use this envelope amount here. Let's push this up to around about 80. And now let's customize our own envelope down here to give us a really sort of interesting kind of shape on the sound. I want a tempo synced envelope. So I want it to be falling on the beat here and a drag out. So here I see this, this two over two here, if we drag right out, that's one bar. And uh, I want to create an envelope that's going to loop over two bars. So with the mode on slide, I can drag this sustain point out here and drag it over to two bars. So we're looping over two bars. Add a little bit of release as well. So it kind of, when it goes out of the env filter envelope, we get a nice smooth transition out. I'm not going to get any clicks or pops. And with that envelope set over two bars now, let's change the mode to fixed. So now it's going to fix over two bars and let's start adding in control clicking. We can start adding in some extra points to start customizing our envelope. So I'm going to start off with a kind of sharp attack here. It's going to slope down to here to this one over two is like half the bar. So I'm getting that half bar slide down and then it's going to open filter envelope. It's going to open back up here and rise up to the end of the bar and then drop back down again and then come back up again so we're get, kind of getting like an LFO to cut off frequency modulation thing going on here that's quite interesting because we can we've got a lot of control over how we shape that rather than it just being an LFO modulating the cut off frequency of quarter notes or eighth notes we're really shaping the kind of the shape of this filter envelope here <laughs> So in this second, this third section really, getting this little kind of rise up and it's going to dip back down again and then we're going to get a big rise at the end again. So. And now let's reference that with a beat just to check it's all syncing up. So we're getting that quite interesting shape movement on the sound. Let's add a few effects in there now. I'm going to put an overdrive on there. Put this drive down and just boost this tone right up so we get the top end back in the sound. Some bass as well. And just taking that kind of aggressive metallic sound even further with this overdrive. Peak EQ, let's just boost some lows and some highs in the sound. So it's a really kind of aggressive, gritty sound, but used in the right way, sounds pretty cool. And of course you could automate this envelope amount here. So as I said, mentioned at the start of the tutorial, I was going to show you this easy morph section here of a sound like this set up we can actually control all of the envelopes in here without we can of course we can link all these envelopes together and then when we move the envelope around they all move together but what we can do here is if we had we didn't have everything linked and we had some slightly different envelopes going on
something like that and we thought okay this sounds okay but we want to move the, the attack point of all these envelopes we don't want them to link them together because we've got different envelopes set up for different operators but we want to start controlling some parameters on those envelopes together. We can use this amplitude envelopes here. So if I hold a key now, I'll listen to the sound. I kind of wrecked the sound a little bit, but if I back the attack off here, this amplitude envelopes. I'm actually backing the attack off of all those envelopes in the all the operator envelopes there. If I hit apply, we'll be able to see what I've done. And it's back the attack off of all these envelopes. So that's a pretty cool sound design tool really, just for controlling your envelopes. And you also have Tomba envelopes in here as well. So amplitude envelopes will just be all the operators, provided they've got the rooted out here and they've got an amplitude applied to them then any modifications we do in here is going to apply them to it's going to be applied to all those envelopes tomba envelopes is for the sounds that are modulating or applying frequency modulation to other operators as well as the filters so if we link all these envelopes again sharpen up this attack but say we want to back the attack off everything, use this tombow envelope here. Apply that, go back to envelopes, and include everything, even if the filter envelope and the noise envelope, although we've not got any noise applied to the sound, it's back the attack off of everything. And now look at this filter envelope. Initially we had this starting back over here at the very start. It's moved the start, the attack point of that envelope right out. So, a really cool way of controlling all your envelopes in here. So, Tomba envelopes and amplitude envelopes, and just another handy sound design tool. So, see if we can get this back to how it was before. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch and make sure you get yourself over to our website, fm8tutorials.com. Tons more tutorials on there using Native Instruments FM8. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers.